Hello and welcome back on Bonama Today. You're still with me, Leonard La, and in the studio, I'm speaking to two very special guests. I have Jakob and Dragos here. I hope I have said your, uh, your names correctly. They are from Jazz Popol School. It's a project uh, for jazz uh, from Poland. Tell us a little bit more about, uh, about yourself. I'm not trying to say your full name. Perhaps you mm -hmm. can introduce yourselves to us. Yeah, hello, everybody. My name is Jakub Krzyszowski. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm the founder of the Jazz Popol School music label. Mm -hmm. So, um, the goal of the label is to promote uh, Polish <coughs> jazz and uh, improvised musicians all over the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I bring very uh, popular and great artists to, to Malaysia, actually to, to Asia, because we have been touring in, in China so far. Mm -hmm. uh, Grzegorz Karnas, uh, he's an amazing vocalist uh, from Poland, from okay. Żory city. And uh, this is Grzegorz. Yeah. <laughs> Grzegorz, tell us about yourself. So. Uh, Grzegorz is the sound of my name. <laughs> it means alert, it means uh, watchful. Oh, is that yeah, what it means? Th that's what it means. So, actually, I'm blessed with the gift of uh, looking around and analyzing the reality. <laughs> and expressing it. Back. And if I can express it, then I'm lucky. Right. So, um, I, I'm a musician, mm -hmm. improvised singer, improvising singer. Mm -hmm. And I'm a part, uh, be, I'm happy to be the part of Just Popol School Project. Uh, under Kuba's label. Uh, my job is to make music. Uh, I love to play concerts, but also I'm, uh, I'm a music promoter. Uh, we actually hooked up together because our goal is kind of similar. Through organizing a festival in Poland called Voice Singers, mm -hmm. we uh, also promote many Polish musicians and international uh, musicians, uh, including Asian, uh, South American, through cooperations with in, uh, different uh, projects and and showing it for to promoters to audiences from uh, uh, many many countries. So um, so this is actually two things that I like to do in life: organizing the the festival in my <laughs> small town of Żory and uh, uh, traveling and making music, which brought me here to to Malaysia, which I'm so grateful for. I'm, I'm, s I, well, I'm, I, I'm sure you're blessed because you're able to combine what you love and uh, also be able to enjoy life yes, at the same time. The, now, the point. tell us, what what does jazz popol school mean? Is, is that something in Polish? Does it mean something? Yeah, actually, like, you know, very simple translation would be jazz from Poland, but this is, uh, this ah. is not a very direct translation. I can translate it like uh, jazz in a Polish way. Right. So I promote the, the, the bands who, who's playing um, jazz in a Polish way. Is, is jazz different in Poland as compared to the rest of the world? Yeah, of course, we have the, the, the Polish jazz has got their own quality and we have very long history of, of jazz in Poland and many during these many, many years, we create uh, our own style of, of right. jazz music, which is different than American. I, I managed to catch uh, a few of the videos that you guys shared with mm -hmm. us, and, and, and as I was listening to it, it's, it's quite uh, experimental, mm -hmm. or it's quite different. It doesn't, you know, fall into... I mean, uh, typically, uh, the rest of the world understands mm -hmm. jazz in a very American way, mm -hmm. you know? It's, it's a little bit more um, pian piano-based, mm -hmm. uh, but from what I hear, it's quite a mix that you guys have used for uh, the presentations that you guys have had mm -hmm. using the voice as the sound is itself as well mm -hmm. not just as a singing uh, mm -hmm. instrument but mm -hmm. as an instrument itself mm -hmm. so tell us about how that evolves and 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 what this project is bringing together in terms of artists it's not just that you guys play uh, mm -hmm. three people you 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 change a variety of people mm -hmm. how does it work well it's uh, it's my project called uh, uh, Karna's formula mm -hmm. and the formula would be I actually I never play in in any other bands than, than my own. It's like <laughs> my inner music world uh, created through what I like to listen and how I like to express myself. Right. And then I, uh, throughout the whole, the whole career of mine, I picked uh, many musicians. The beginning of it was that I played for several years, maybe 10 or 11 years with the same lineup. Mm -hmm. But then uh, accidentally I needed to change one or two musicians and then it turned out that uh, the whole concept changes uh, along with the new element that's uh, brought to, to the band because that's a lot of improvisation. This is actually the, the only element that is taken from jazz, maybe also playing according to the structure of tunes mm -hmm. and uh, an improvisation that we took from jazz and apart from from this, it's uh, it's just uh, our own expression, music expression based on our um, lifetime music experiences, 
through playing and listening to music. So I really love to play with musicians that are allowed to to play uh, the way they know how to play. Right. Which is, I don't impose strict arrangements on them. I prefer they play their own style and just give me inspiration to to inspire them again. And it's, it seems to be a contributing factor. Mm -hmm. So exactly. everybody brings something in. Exactly. Everybody has their take on it and that's how it grows and it mm -hmm. evolves. And it has a life of its own of sorts. It seems yeah, like Yeah, of it. course. Every concert um, is different. That's like, what I wanted know, to say. And actually this is kind of uh, like a moder modern thinking about the jazz music because, you know, the uh, the jazz which many people are thinking about is like it was many years ago. Like this is how the, the jazz music looks like now. Actually, this is how jazz and improvised music always uh, looked like. Uh, the, the most important uh, factor uh, for this music is to be always daring. It means to, be, to be free to try new things. To be try new things, to, to, to expose the, the audience to something new, to surprise them. If, uh, if the expectations are are met, it means that maybe there's something wrong with the music. <laughs> <laughs> so not meeting expectations <laughs> is your goal. If I look at this, is there a theme? I mean, uh, there must be certain direction and guidelines for mm -hmm. you to work together because there needs to be a cohesion somewhere. Yes. So how do you keep that together? Well, we uh, actually, uh, I, I learned a very basic an important lesson uh, that works for, for that has worked for me so far. It's uh, uh, when Miles Davis was recording "Kind of Blue." He only brought the sketches of the the music for the band, but he allowed uh, them to to play around it the way they do because they are who they are right. and they play what they play. Right. So we also have sketches of the music of uh, music structures, ah. the 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 chord changes. Uh, uh, that we follow and some arranged parts, but uh, apart from this, uh, we interconnect the the tunes in an improvised way and and use different sounds, different uh, emotional structure for each uh, each performance because every day is different and actually, which uh, is which is great, which because, is great because you're you're taking inspiration from everything. Mm -hmm. Is there a vision for Jazz Purple School? Yeah, actually, the vision is to to to, um, to bring the the most prospective and um, most important bands at the music scene in Poland and take the bands uh, and touring all over the world. So actually uh, this is the idea, the main idea to, to show that kind of music to people abroad. Has that been successful? Have they gained some exposure and been able to create more with this exposure? Yeah, of course, like so far I organized 100 events in, in Asia, so I think like wow. the the market here is, is growing every year for me. That's fantastic. And I understand that you guys are going to play at No Black Tide tonight yes. uh, at 9.30. So uh, jazz fans out there, of course, you can head on down to No Black Tide. It's the opportunity to catch them there. Uh, what's the set going to look like tonight? Is there a vision for that? <laughs> of course there's a vision for that, but we will not tell you unless uh, you <laughs> come there. You will not be able to know what it is all about. Uh, actually, uh, we don't know exactly what it's going to be with this cast the material that's going to be on stage like five, ten minutes before the set to see where we are, actually. It, it sounds so exciting. Mm -hmm. It's so, it you know, is. experimental. It's so improvi uh, um, it, improvisational. It's of, yes, it's so, such, such a lot of improvising that is being mm -hmm. done. It's sort of like, you know, the improv um, improvisational comedy that, you know, mm -hmm. they go in, they have mm -hmm. sort of a structure and mm -hmm. let the audience take you to where yeah. uh, and you're going to go next. And this is what we love to do and this is what we do and this is what we invite you to witness. So hope to see you yes. out there at yes. No Black Tie 9.30 p.m. Head on down to No Black Tie at 9.30. You'll be able to catch some incredible music mm. uh, with Jazz Purple School, which uh, Dregos as well as Yakub, And of course, you're heading on to Jakarta next. So uh, for mm. those of you who are not here, who are watching from abroad, you can catch them next uh, on the tour that's mm. going to be happening for mm. Jazz Purple School. That's all the time that we have. Thank you for Thank sharing you. with us. Thank you. We look forward to having you play more here. Welcome back to Malaysia anytime. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure you, I know it's a bit spicy for you, but you know, <laughs> Be a little bit more adventurous as well, you know, improvising. Yes, yes. thank you very thank much. You very thank much you very much for your time. That's all the time that we have. We'll be taking a short breather right now. We'll be right back. Bye for now.